My name is um, Thompson Makulu Jr. I'm the producer of the movie Awomi. I'm a Nollywood actor and filmmaker. Well, Awomi tells, it's an African story that tells the, tells the story of Ikede and her two sons. One biological son, another a stepson. She's caught in between the love of a stepson and the love of a son. She's caught in between her pride as a woman, her pride as a mother, and the place of her son in the society. So it tells the story of the sacrifice of a woman and how much a woman can give to ensure that her son or her daughter stays strong in the place of history. It depends on who is saying what or from which perception you want to see the story from. If I decide to see the story from the perception of Ikede, I will see a mother that is selfless, that is um, all giving. If I decide to tell the story from the angle of um, Achille, I tell the story of a young man that suffers for a crime that he knows nothing about. If I have to tell the story from the perspective of uh, Mona, I tell the, perspective, um, tell the story of Mona from a young man that is successful, but not knowing where his source of light comes from. But all of this meet at a point, and there is a break and reality done. So from all perspectives, it depends on which angle you want to see the story from. Well, first and foremost, the language is one. We are Igala, um, the Igala people of Kogi State, Nigeria, Africa. Um, we have a very special language, and um, this movie was delivered in our language. Um, the names are our names. The locations, 60% um, of the locations were shot in Ida, which is the traditional headquarters of the Igala people. So it's our environment. Number two, <coughs> and more so that we talked about you know, the uniqueness of our culture. There was a festival in the film. We talked about um, the place and pride of Atta, who is the traditional head, the god, the traditional god of the Igala people. You know, and all of that. We talked about our food. We talked about our rivers. We talked about our sights and sound of, of the Igala people of Kogise, North Central Nigeria. Well, basically, I've done my part as a filmmaker and the part of the audience is what we are here to do today. This is going to be the first public view of this artwork and uh, this is not a premiere per se, it is more <coughs> of a release, it's an official release and as we're having it here in Abuja, it's also ongoing in local Jakogi state, we call it a limited release and this is um, going to be showing in selected cinemas in Nigeria, there's Abuja, there's Lagos, there's Kaduna, there's Kano, there's Lokoja, and that's what it is we're doing. We expect the audience to come out, our friends, our family members, um, true lovers of African stories and Nigerian stories, proud Igala men and women to come, see their own story, come to the big screen for the very first time being released as a film. Well, um, this is um, what we're actually promoting. This is what we want to take from the local map to the international map. Because um, this is a major industry that we know our people have the capacity, the ability, and also the people you know, that can actually drive it. Yes, we need it more structured, more organized. We need maybe private sector funding. But at the same time, we should start as Igalas, you know, as people from this blessed area to start encouraging our youth, our young ones like this, inventors like this. And he's done very well, and I'm proud of him. From what I see, the quality of people that are here and um, what we are going to be seeing, I think um, he's top, 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 top up there, and um, that is where he should be. And several gala young men who, and women, we are hoping will drive to get into this level. You know, you know, you know um, globally, you know, there's Hollywood, there's... Um, Hollywood and uh, you are so now we are going to be having us and uh, we uh, the Minister of Arts and Culture in collaboration with that at the center will be working closely ensuring that we we'll drive those goals that requires us getting in our values our cultures out there for the people to see. Igalas are one of the most um, disciplined um, traditional groups in the world in terms of you know they drive integrity you know the issues of hard work issues of um, uh, social and family affiliations these are critical things that we are going to be using the social orient orientation team to ensure that we have young men and women putting ideas together in drama form in play forms and displaying what our culture is our cultural heritage I'm from Kogi State and the eastern part of Kogi State to be precise where we are presenting our language movie so that's what the cap represents and the yellow identification. 
Um, the two kids, the two kids are better the same way. They, they, they have the same blood flowing in their veins. So if I'm put in a position where I have to choose between A or B, it's really going to be a tough and a difficult one for me. So I don't always want to be in that position. So I'm not in that position now, so I can't really say. I'm very proud about my culture. I'm an Igala. I'm from the Igala called speaking culture. I'm very proud about um, the Igalas. For one thing, um, they set a goal and they go for it. If you look at this movie now, it's a goal that has been set by the producer, Thompson Makolo Jr. And he's, he followed it to the letter, tit for tit, to make sure that the end goal is actually met. And I'm very proud of him for producing this kind of movie. And that's one thing that stands out for my culture. Okay, like I always say, um, Thompson Makolo Jr. is a very good friend. I always tell him, let's put it out there. People need to know what they don't know. People need to know what they wish they knew. People need to know what they should know. So, and that's basically what culture is about. Telling those who are just coming what has been and telling those who are there that this is what could be. So portraying the culture of any traditional language is very, very important in the development of our, our country at large. So when you do a movie that portrays a culture, I always give you my all. It's very, very encouraging. Yes, uh, my name is Roderico Atienza. I'm Charge d'Affaire, acting head of mission of the Embassy of the Philippines in Nigeria. Uh, well, essentially, um, I just got it yesterday. I've been wearing um, all sorts of um, um, Nigerian clothes, uh, traditional ones, including Ankara and this type of, um, you know, more formal one. And of course, I've gotten myself a house uh, hat. At the same time, yesterday I was at the uh, Nike Art Gallery here in um, near Lugbe in Lugbe, and I was able to get myself uh, to, to complete the uh, fashion. What I'm looking forward to is uh, the premiere that we're about uh, for the film we're about to see today is that it's a uniquely Igala language film. And uh, since coming to Nigeria, I've been completely fascinated with the different tribes. Um, you know, you have several, like maybe 250 or so, and then languages 580 or so. And so this just shows that Nigeria is a very rich cultural, um, you know, territory. And Igala is just one of the hundreds and hundreds of languages that you actually have. So I want to see, after seeing this film, I hope to be able to um, learn a little bit more of um, the land of the confluence of the, the rivers. Uh, of course, I've never been to um, Kogi State, to the capital of Lokoja, but I understand they're having a simultaneous um, uh, premiere there as well. So if I learn a little bit more of the Igala language culture and the people, then I'd be able to die, uh, um, have a bit more or better understanding, not just of the three main, as they call it, linguistic groups of Hausa, um, Yoruba, and Igbo, but also explore into the different smaller but nonetheless important um, ling ethno-linguistic groups of Nigeria. All right, guys, it's still the movie premiere Awomi happening right here in Abuja, and standing beside me is the founder of Kaduna International Film Festival. Festival. Good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. What's your name? Yes, my name is Israel Kashim Aldo, the founder and the executive director of Kaduna International Film Festival. Yeah, so is the movie premiere out? What would you make of the movie? Um, I'm looking forward, I've not watched it, um, I'm looking forward to something interesting. Um, I'm sure that here in Nigeria, um, indigenous movies are not well celebrated as such. So um, that is one of the reasons why I'm here. What we do is we love to promote uh, indigenous films. And um, I'm looking forward to see interesting and um, beautiful, um, great art uh, artwork that um, the cast and crew have done for this um, production. Yeah, you speak about indigenous movie. What would you think are the challenges of indigenous movie not actually thriving in Nigeria? One of the challenges um, we have noticed is um, you will understand, uh, you, you agree with me that um, uh, the indigenous language is mostly, uh, it doesn't sell as such. So most marketers hardly um, accept indigenous films because they believe that Nollywood or the English speaking um, movies sell more than the indigenous um, language films and that is why you see in the northern part of Nigeria it was a challenge for us. Um, even the Europa, most of the indigenous movies are always a challenge when it comes to marketing and that is one of the big challenge um, indigenous films have in Nigeria. All right, thank you so much for speaking with us. Basically, so what are you looking forward 
for this afternoon uh, premier I'm looking forward to seeing an interesting. I'm not Igala myself, but um, um, I'm just looking forward to enjoy myself. You know, to 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 just have fun. That is just it. So we're basically here to have fun. So let's all have fun together. The movie is Awomi, and I tell you, like he said, indigenous movie need to thrive in Nigeria because we are a country with diverse languages. I'll see you in a moment. Do not touch your dial. Stay tuned. This is still the movie premiere happening right here in Abuja, Awomi, and I would leave this gorgeous lady to introduce herself. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Tell us your name. My name is Ambassador Saidat Lami. Oh, so is the movie premiere. What do you make of the movie? Um, this movie is an interesting story. I can, I'm saying it's an interesting story because I have been following the trailers. Yes, and from there I, I'm able to conclude that it is an interesting story. Produced by one of our own, Thompson Makolo Jr. He's a talented movie maker and movie actor. And then... Um, I have no doubt in my mind that whatever movie he produces is a banger. A banger. Now, just a way of encourage, uh, encouragement or encouraging those people who produce indigenous movies, what would you say to them? Because we know that Nigeria is a country with diverse language. So, uh, for someone like me, I may not understand what they are saying. For, and so, to some other people, what would be that word of advice to those people producing indigenous movies? Yeah, the, my advice is. You know, indigenous movies tell indigenous stories. And the good thing about indigenous movies acted in native languages is that they are subtitled in English. That subtitlement in English shows that if you are not uh, from that particular tribe, you can watch the movie from the subtitles, you can understand the story and enjoy the movie. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey. Baba, hmm? I like In a milky double me, me, me. Calumani, Kaka. I call I can get on. I I <laughs> Alright guys, it's still the movie premiere I will meet and standing right beside me is the main man himself, the the producer of the one of the greatest movie i would say one of the most view it's going to be a most view uh, movie of our time good evening good evening again tell us your name well my name is thompson marco lucino um producer actor and the producer of the movie awomi so it's it's of course it's a long awaited movie and the day is here the day we've we, we, we've seen the movie how do you feel basically do you feel um it was worth it Yes, of course, w worth my time, worth the stress, the stress, worth the investment, and uh, most importantly, the, the biggest joy and satisfaction of every filmmaker is to get the audience to see um, his work. 
and today comes to me as a fulfillment. We've been on this project for a while and um, there have been a lot of questions. When is it coming out? When is it coming out? Finally, it has dropped and we wait to hear what the audience will say about the film. So what, what are some of the challenges putting up all of this whole movie process? Well, uh, of course, um, ask any filmmaker, no matter how rich you are, you'd always have challenges from pre-production to production, of course, post-production. The challenge of um, distribution is one for us who are um, not major languages in Nigeria, and when you do a film that is not the ones we refer to as the popular language, Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, distribution becomes a big challenge. Then um, corporate um, sponsorship and endorsement becomes a big challenge because, you know, outside Lagos, um, a lot of things do not really go around. Then we talk about funding, you know, we're not getting investment yet. Uh, we're still struggling to get a desired recognition, we're still struggling to get a desired patronage, and we're still struggling to get a desired participation. These are some of the challenges for you know, filmmakers who, you know, dare to be different, you know, from what others are doing. Especially indigenous producers. Yes, indigenous producers, then, for, like I said, three major ethnic groups are the ones that are seen as the, the languages. All right, so if you do anything outside these three major languages, it is considered that you, you it is considered as a minority and most platforms, you know, don't like to try new things. But I, I continue to say, if it's a Nigerian story, if it's a Nigerian project, if we refer to it as a Nigerian film industry, it shouldn't be limited to only the houses, Yorubas, and Igbos. Especially when we are bringing the values that can meet up the standard and quality of these other ones. All right? To the American, no, to the American people, the American film is an indigenous film. To the Indian people, the Indian film is an, in, an indigenous film. But when it comes to us, it becomes foreign. Okay? So how do you tell me in my own country that no, my language does not matter, so it shouldn't be seen, shouldn't be distributed? So these are some of the challenges that outside Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, you have to fight, 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 fight until maybe luck strikes. We keep fighting. Thank you so much for putting up a great movie. A lot of people have been talking about the movie, talking about your work, your production. Definitely you're doing great and you're going to hit that spot very soon. Thank you guys for coming to identify with the project. Also, um, TV, uh, radio, thank you so much to you guys. I mean, um, your being part of this project gives us just confidence that yes, with time, we can go global and others will come to believe what you guys have seen. So thank you guys. Thank you so much. All right, it's still the movie premiere, Our Me, and standing beside me is a lady on all blue. Yeah. <laughs> so how are you doing? I'm fine. What's your name? Queen Biba Chaibu. Oh, Queen. How, I mean, your makeup looks beautiful. Thank you. How many hours did it take you to wear the makeup? Say the truth. Um, just an hour by Saudat. A and S Beauty World, yeah. Oh, well, it's good. Great. And um, so the movie, um, Awomi, what do you make? What was that special moment for you in the movie? Um, I think to some extent it's, it was like it was somehow terrible. The parts, why is it terrible? The parts where this spirit comes into Ajuma's body. Can I speak Igala? Okay, no, no, I think I'll speak English. Okay, the part where um, spirit comes into Ajuma, and then I feel like this moment is somehow listening to me. Like, then when she's out of the house, the spirit goes off. So I'm like, ah, what's so interesting about this? Let me see what, you know, it makes me anticipate more of the movie. So yeah, the movie is perfect. I love the lightning. I love how everything is being presentable. I love um, the translation of, yeah, the, the, in fact, yes, kudos, kudos to Marco Lo Thompson Jr. Um, I've been watching some of his movies lately. So yeah, I didn't expect less, so 100%. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you. It's a movie premiere, Awomi, and there are lots of challenges when it comes to uh, indigenous movie in Nigeria, knowing that we're a, a country with diverse language. What, what, what do you think um, 
producers can do to make sure that indigenous movie thrives in Nigeria? Yeah, producers must, of necessity, do a lot of research for authenticity. And uh, whenever the name Thompson is mentioned, I, I don't really need an invitation to be there because I was part of one of his movies before, which was launched in Abuja here. And uh, my son told me that, look, he, he wrote part of this movie and uh, I wanted to come and see it. And I say I, I was welcome. Oh, great, great, great. So it, it's a movie you think everyone can relate yeah, to? Definitely. When uh, Thompson goes on location, he does the right thing always. Yeah. So as a producer, you should know the right thing to do always. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. What's your name? My name is Beauty by Allison. Oh, Beauty by Allison. So what was that special moment in the movie I will meet for you? Okay. The place I really love about the movie is um, the ending part. When I actually forgave um, Mona and he said to Mona that your wealth is my wealth. Like, uh, I want to know shame me. So that is my the moment I love so much. Thank you so much. So what, what, what would be um, like um, a take home lesson for you? Take home lesson is no matter how you love a child as a mother, you should be careful things you do. Like you should be careful to some extent you go for that child because it might make the child or destroy the child. All right, guys, it's still the movie premiere, Awomi, and we just want to get his reaction quickly about the movie. Um, I basically, it's, I've not seen too many Nigerian films, although Nollywood is of course the second biggest uh, film industry in the world, but I enjoy this one in particular, uh, the fact that it's, uh, at least from what I know, my first Igala film, and I like the development, I think the um, themes being espoused of urban and, and rural life, traditional and modern, where the son has abandoned his, his own mother, and then it's actually the stepson who's taking care of not his biological mother who's passed away, but the, the st stepmother, so you can see where um, there's a lot of dedication from somebody who is not even of the same blood. And uh, all of these themes, also the black magic that was happening. Um, now they have the theme of the uh, festival. And I've seen how it is. It's only, um, it's, it's very well carried in film, the way the king uh, declared that there's going to be an festival. All of these things is very uh, made me very curious about indigenous culture. I've never been to Lokoja. I've never been to actually Kogi. But uh, I think just by watching this film, uh, me as somebody who's, who's very new to Nigeria makes me want to explore more of these th themes and find out more of it. So I really hope and wish that this wonderful film finds the audience that it deserves. So what was the highlight of the movie? For me the highlight and I really wanted to close in that way is that actually there will be some reconciliation between the two brothers and I hope the brother who of course has not been uh, successful in having a son will realize that actually the reason why he has not he and his wife have not been blessed is because he has not been very grateful uh, he's not been a filial son and I think these are themes that we also have in our own culture if you do not uh, take care of somebody who has done so much for you as your mother then of course the future is not guaranteed for you yeah, yeah thank you so much I mean this is just a great lesson for all of us thank you so much for and it's universal yeah. that's the main point right we watch films so we see that even some uh, here in Nigeria is very familiar with what is something for us and that connects us all together. This is still the movie premiere, our me happening right here in Abuja or it has happened because we're basically here to get the review. So uh, what, was, what was that moment for you in the movie? Uh, the moment for, for me was um, I think at the end of the movie where the whole story was reviewed. How the Awomi, which is my star, was encaved by the other, the uh, mother, sorry, stepmother, and she now confessed, and uh, I think that was where actually got my attention. What, what was that lesson learned? What was that one lesson you learned from the movie? Mm, the lesson I learned is um, we should always go back to our roots because uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes there are some things that we will leave behind, but once you go back to your roots, I think you pick it along.